Oh, look, you hooked me. All right, word, word, word. Hold on. Actually, I have a feeling I know what this is going to be. I got this shit. Look at this, bro. Look at, look at this. Look at this show. This was aired on television, yeah. Hey, sir. Her family should have been enjoying a mother's oh, day barbecue last week, but instead, they were blindsided with allegations of sexual abuse. You see, Casey says her daughter claimed that Grandpa Jimmy molested her, and she even gave specifics as to where the abuse took place. But Jimmy and his wife, Lisa, say there is no way their granddaughter was molested, especially not by him. Take a look. My granddaughter is accusing my husband, Jimmy, of touching her. Casey went home and she asked her if he had touched her in any way. She said no. And then she said that Peepaw had put his cook. This might be a little too serious for Twitch, yeah. This might be unholy for Twitch. This might be a lot, yeah. Okay, <laughs> on my cookie. Peepaw is my husband, Jimmy. I told her, I said, no, Peepaw did not do this. So then we got Jimmy, which is Peepaw, to come into the room. And Casey had her tell Peepaw exactly what she told me. And Jimmy's like, no, that has never happened. I would, ne I would never do nothing like that. So then David comes in. You want me to restart? I react to Steve Wilkos. They react to Mari. I react to Steve Wilkos, yo. Come on. All right, let's restart this. All right, let's go. Episode one. Steve Wilkos. Did Grandpa touch you? What did Peepa do, yo? What did, what did Grandpa Jimmy do? Casey and her family should have been enjoying yeah, yeah, a Mother's so. Day barbecue last week, but instead... They were blindsided with allegations of sexual abuse. You see, Casey says her daughter claimed that Grandpa Jimmy molested her. And she even gave specifics as to where the ab I know reality shows gotta push a crazy agenda, but y'all gonna be sick with this one. No. I don't gotta do all that, yo. I'ma let, I'm let peep off. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't know if he did it or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could have he not done it. But... That's what we're here to find out, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's not, it's not over yet. Man. He's not, he's not, he's not in the coffin already. You know Abuse took place. But Jimmy and his wife, Lisa, say there's no way their granddaughter was molested, especially not by him. Take a look. My granddaughter is accusing my husband, Jimmy, of touching her. Casey went home and she asked her if he had touched her in any way. She said no, and then she said that Peepaw had put his cookie on my cookie. Pe now, this can't be scripted. I'm not gonna lie. You know, this is a brief background, you know what I'm saying? Steve Wilkos, I'm pretty sure he used to be like the bodyguard for Maury, and then he made his own show, and he did shit like this, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the same thing. And I watched a documentary on, on the Maury show, and that shit actually is not scripted. Or not all of it, I mean, some of it is. Peepaw is my husband, Jimmy. I told her, I said, no, Peepaw did not do this. So then we got Jimmy, which is Peepaw, to come into the room. And Casey had her tell Peepaw exactly what she told me. And Jimmy's like, no, that has never happened. I would, ne I would never do nothing like that. So then David comes in and he's real upset. <laughs> if I was Grandpa Peep, if I was Peepa, I would not. I mean, I could never be Peepa. What the fuck am I saying? And that's whenever he told us that Jimmy has to get a lie detector test. I think Casey had probably coached my grandbaby because she had her by herself and had an opportunity to talk to her. I need to find out the truth because I told my husband if he feels it, I have to leave. I can't be with him no more. And I don't want to leave my husband. So she, okay, so she's hip. She knows it. Like, she's already, like, she's like pre-crying. Pre you know what I'm saying? Like, she knows. She's just doing that shit. She's just, like, trying to be cute or whatever to her husband in case he's not. Uh, Casey, that's your mother-in-law on the tape. But What's she knows. going on? Okay, well, like you said, on Mother's Day, we should be having a good day. Well, 
my daughter said, oh, mommy, I have something that I need. No, he definitely did it. He definitely did it. But the kid, the kid doesn't just say, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't say that or like points the person. You know what I'm saying? Like the kid, the kid wouldn't just make that up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The kid, the kid's not making that up. I need to tell you in your ear. I said, okay. So I put my ear down there to her and she said, mommy, people wants to keep this a secret, but he put his cookie on my cookie. And I said, what do you mean he put his cookie on your cookie? Are you, is What did Peepa do? Come on, man. Is it a cookie that you eat or is it your cookie? Because that's what we consider that, that area. And she told me, she said, no, mommy, it was this cookie. So I immediately took her to the source, which is Jimmy and Lisa. Okay, I wanted them to hear it for themselves that she had said this. So whenever I got there, I immediately told Lisa to go into her bedroom. It was just me, her, and my daughter. And my daughter told her the same thing she told me. And we asked her again, was it a cookie that you eat or is it a cookie, your cookie? And she said it was her cookie again. And that's when Jimmy had walked in the door and said, what the heck is going on? I see it in chat. Yeah, you're different. I, would have... I had her repeat it again. And she said the same thing. Kids don't make shit up like that. You know what I'm saying? Kids make up shit, but not like that. Like that, that, that shit is a, uh, that shit should tell you, yo. He's not, people are not, people are not innocent, yo. Fuck people. In front of everybody. And she told me. And so my husband had came down at that time and told Jimmy that he has to take a lie detector test. So as soon as they all agreed to take a lie detector test or whatever, I immediately called y'all. I have to have answers for my daughter. How long have you known Jimmy? I have been knowing him since I was four or five years old. His mother had passed away whenever he was younger. And so my dad, my dad took him in and um, offered to raise him the rest of the way. And I consider him as my brother because we are, we're really close. Right, and you were raised in the same house. Yes, yes. And I wouldn't, I just would never think And then that he married your mom? My husband's mom. Oh, okay. So, but I mean, isn't that kind of odd that the yeah. guy that you're going ends up being your father-in-law? It's okay though. He's he's a good man to yeah. me. Yeah. So that's what. And so you just said that. Do you think it's possible that he didn't do this? I really don't think he did. But I mean, I have to believe my daughter. I mean, my daughter would not just make something. Yeah, you're not smashing that. Yeah. Like realistically, like okay, I understand the context is terrible to say some shit like this, but like you're not smashing that. Like there's no way. Like, be realistic. Like, think about it. If you were put in the real scenario, you're not doing that. Nah, you're not doing that. Something like that up, and especially saying where it happened at. Now, you took a lie detector test to prove that you didn't coach your daughter. I sure did. Well, why'd you do that? Because I don't want anybody to say. You are not hitting those. I'm sorry, Doug. Doug. Like, that's beyond horny. And, oh, well, she told her daughter to say this even But, I mean, if you, why would you coach against somebody that you have a very close relationship? Yeah, exactly. Casey, why? 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 Why would you do this to my daughter? You I would never do you that. You told. You know, I would never hurt her. She told everybody. She's like, she's like a love to me. It's like, it's like all my kids. My daughter said. He did it. Look at him, yo. Stop. Three or four different times, the same story. It don't matter. Look at how he's I didn't never I do don't it. Care. I raised I you when I was believe, five years old. I have to believe my daughter. I would never touch anybody like that. I don't want to believe I, you did it. I well, raised you pretty much. Your husband, David, he's here. Let's bring David out. Look, I'll. Yo, he better insta swing, yo. Come on. You know he did it. This is your last time you see him before he goes to prison. You gotta insta swing. What's going on, bro? My daughter comes and says it three times. Yeah. How are you going to call a four-year-old a, a liar? I mean, how are you going to do that? And besides, y'all have the wrong idea of even thinking it's her uh, coaching our daughter when I'm the one that's always getting in your face, calling you lazy, drunk, and everything else. How are y'all yeah, even going to think it's her? Because you don't want me to be with your mama. No, I don't want a drunk, lazy person with my mama. But guess what? It happened. My mom has feelings for you, and I don't want I to have her, her heart I got broken back again. Problems. What else but you want me to do? My daughter came to us Are you a drunk? and said three no, times. I drank, but I ain't no drunk. Do you believe in your heart that he molested you? 
The dad does look like a pred, but like he just looks like a pussy. Like let's be real. You're sitting in front of a guy who just molested your daughter, and what you're doing is talking. Crazy, crazy. I'm not no tough guy, but like you know what I'm saying. You're gonna kind of gotta draw the line there. Keelan's rating me with 29 people. Nah, you're bugging. Yo, W fucking raid, yo. Your daughter. I don't. I. I I do and I don't. It's really hard because I've known this man for a long time and I've never seen him do anything like that around a kid or to a kid. How in the world? Yo, yes sir. W raid. God damn, bro. Yo, Ken, you're clouded. Your 29 heads is unreal. Yo, Nightbot, get off his dick. Yo, what the hell? Well, could you even sit back there and say uh, that you think that he probably did it? I love this man, and I'd be damned did I if say, I'm going to let anybody come no. in between did us. I say, get back. Did I you say did. that I thought he did? Yes. No. David, you no, I did not. You so really, it sounds like nobody really believes that Jimmy did it, but it's a possibility. Yes, yes. there yes. is a possibility. I'll get out between that. Rip that motherfucking butt. Oh, shit, wait. Yeah, he followed. Fuck. Little nigga, that's a trap phone. I'm not shaking ass, but you're wild. Who the hell's the drug? Oh, that's right here. All right, word. Here, I'll hit play while I while I pack a ball. Pulled in the middle. Okay. Of course. I mean, I'm never home. I'm never home at all. But do you find it a little strange that Wild. Jimmy's the one giving your tee up, gang? daughter a bath yeah and i didn't even but know he that happened it, he, but he hasn't that's the thing he just stood on the stage and said he did it no i don't even bathe my own girls because i bro swing you know what i'm saying like this is your daughter but we're wouldn't i i wouldn't want this to happen to me yeah i mean isn't it a little weird that no, nobody knew that he was giving her a bath i didn't know i didn't i don't know the result turn hey Everybody says Jimmy's a great guy. Maybe he didn't do it. Oh, answer. We that. pray. We just pray to God. But the bath story almost sounds like, well, if I fill, that's when I gave her a bath. Casey took a lie detector test, and we asked her, "Did you coach your daughter to say Jimmy sexually molested her?" She answered, "No." Are you fabricating the story that Jimmy sexually molested your eldest daughter? She answered, "No." The results came back the same to each question. They came back that Casey told the truth. Kid sub? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Good looks, my guy. Thank you, dog. Jimmy came here, took a lie detector test. That's another bong rip, too. Oh, fuck, my water bottle fell. And we asked him, did you ever have physical contact with your four-year-old granddaughter for your own sexual pleasure? He answered nah, no. Leo's gotta... Did you ever do anything sexual to your four-year-old granddaughter? The subs. He answered no. <sighs> the results came back to send each question. But he'll probably get that shit in like and it days. came back to Jimmy to not tell the truth. <laughs> Yo. Came back to Jimmy to not tell the truth. <laughs> I can never, yo, yo, uh, nah, yo, that's, look, look, he's got picked up like a baby, though, that's crazy, like, I'm sorry, if, I, if, if I'm standing there with somebody who just molested my daughter, security guard not picking me up, bro, that's so funny. Couldn't be me, gang. <laughs> that could not be me, yeah. Now, to either pass this test, you have to have a plus four, or you have to have a minus four to fail. Jimmy had a minus 24. God damn. Cheers, yeah. Zin, if you're still in here. I know there's oh sick. Sick guys in the world, and you're one of them. It's not going to be easy for you in jail. And let me tell you something: don't 
don't fool yourself right now standing on that stage thinking you're not going to jail because look at everything that happened here. One, this is a little girl who's adamant about her story. <coughs> Two, the mother passes that this ain't being faked. The girl <coughs> has the basically water. pointed you out in a lineup in her own house. <coughs> this is the guy that did it. Okay? <laughs> little girl's not making up a story like that. <coughs> and you bust out yourself. Oh yeah, I give her best that nobody knows that I'm giving her best. And you know, some of these guys, they worked in the prison system here in the state of Connecticut. I'm sure they can tell you, nobody likes a child molester. He's getting stabbed in prison, no doubt. Yo, I'm giving P. Paul like 30 days. Good luck for popping out though. Thank you, Keenan, for rating me, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you. And this man from Cash, I'm gonna catch you. So I'm touching like how I maneuver. She like I never been with a Uber. Hop in the Benz, I ain't taking no Uber. All my house runs, they on bridges, I'm losing. Been in the field, ain't no telling me nothing. I swear to Abba, but he get the ducking. No, I don't talk like the Glock do discussions. Don't need a pill to go spin, dust him. Said that you smoking a hoop, dust him. Don't got the knuckles on Nazi, I cut. Posting that glitches, you really gon' dump it? I get you killed with a push of a button.